Hello, I'd like to discuss and demonstrate various lens defects. These defects are called aberrations. In particular, uh, we, I have the diagrams here for a couple of different aberrations. I have spherical aberration and chromatic aberration. Let's talk about spherical aberration first. With spherical aberration, we have light rays coming in uh, close to the axis here. For example, ray 1A and ray 1B, as I've labeled them, will cross the axis at the focal point for those two rays, whereas rays further out uh, might have a different focal point. And if they do, then uh, ray 2A and ray 2B, for example, could cross the axis at this point here. That'd be the focal point for, for those two rays. And when we have inner rays and outer rays, with different focal points, then the focal point becomes ambiguous. For rays in between 1 and 2, we'd have a focal point somewhere between F1 and F2. So if we have an ambiguous focal point, then we have an ambiguous image plane, and therefore we have a blurry image. And then uh, chromatic aberration is where you have, uh, for example, white light come in, two parallel beams of white light parallel to the axis come in, and uh, blue light uh, has a shorter focal point than does red light. So because of dispersion, the light will spread out into its component colors and we have uh, an ambiguous focal point because of the coloring that takes place. We call that chromatic aberration. And of course, all of the other colors would be uh, in between here. So we have a whole series of focal points for, uh, for the different colors. We call that chromatic aberration. And again, if you have a... Uh, of a lens system where you have chromatic aberration, you have an ambiguous focal point, you'd have an ambiguous image plane, and so the different uh, colors of light would form, try to form images at different positions, and you'd end up with a blurry image due to coloring. Uh, now I'd like to demonstrate uh, both of these uh, types of defects using the uh, blackboard optics. Uh, for the blackboard optics, uh, turn on the light source here, and I have a receiving uh, screen here so we can follow the rays of light as they, as they leave this source here as a parallel bundle of rays. And uh, let's watch what happens when the light uh, passes through, for example, a converging lens. And that light then uh, will uh, converge to a focal point. And uh, let's uh, turn the lights down for better contrast and we'll be able to demonstrate that. So here we see that uh, light from the outer part of the lens, for example, uh, goes down and crosses the, uh, the axis at a different place than light from the central part of the lens. And as I move this up and down, we can see that light from different places will cross the axis at different locations depending upon the shape of the lens at that particular place where the light passes through. And if the lens isn't properly shaped, then we have what's called spherical aberration. Chromatic aberration is starting to show up here as well, but it's a little more difficult to see. To do that, I'm going to take a, uh, an even more converging lens by putting two converging lenses together, getting a shorter focal point so we can uh, emphasize that a little bit more. Here again, you see the spherical aberration with the ambiguous focal point, but notice also that the light, because of dispersion, goes off in... Uh, in different uh, uh, directions there, slightly differently depending upon the color of the light. The blue light refracts the most, the red light refracts a little bit less, and so we have uh, coloring take place here, and we have a focal point that's slightly colored because of chromatic aberration. So we see the spherical aberration where all the white light has an ambiguous focal point, but within that white light, there's that other subtle aspect of chromatic aberration where the different colors also have a slightly different focal point. Demonstrating spherical aberration and chromatic aberration. Now I can demonstrate that even more so with an, with an extreme uh, lens. Let me turn the lights up so you can see this a little better. Here I have a lens where we're going to have some rather severe spherical aberration and possibly also some severe chromatic aberration. This lens has the... Uh, approximate shape of a, uh, of a nice lens, but uh, let's see what happens when we turn the lights down and let the light shine through, through this uh, semicircular piece of plastic. And let's follow the, uh, 
the rays of light uh, for this. To do this, I'm just going to take uh, three rays of light here and let that light uh, come up. And we see that uh, we have those we have those three rays of light that uh, do not come to a common focal point. They come up parallel. They do not come to a focal, po focal point uh, because of uh, spherical aberration. And we also see a more pronounced chromatic aberration with, within each of those beams. The light goes off in colors as if there, this were a corner of a prism. So we have both spherical aberration and chromatic aberration demonstrated with, with this semicircular piece of plastic.